Hey guys, True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Sauce. Gonna make a quick video because I'm hoping to get outside as quick as I possibly can today. Got a bunch of work to do and I might as well get it done while it's cool out. Uh, anyhow, I got a couple new saws and I've done some videos with the Neotech NHH43 before. And this is a brand new one. I have more videos to do on it because I've uh, ran into one problem and some different things. Uh, I won't go into it in depth, but I also want to show you guys how to mod this saw. And to cut a long story short is in the videos that I've already published, you'll see that I said I don't have this tuned quite right yet. And in talking to Mike Ralph, the vendor for Neotech, I said, you know, I either have a restriction on fuel or a restriction on air. Something's not wrong wrong but not right like it's a funny thing like there's something if I, I feel like either i could get a lot more out of this saw or something's holding it back mm, i like it but there's just something so anyhow turns out i might have a solution for that uh then as the way things tend to go old jess ray over at smelter city bluesaws.com sent out the new uh, Farmer Tech G40. And I'll show you both these. They're very similar saws, and I hope you guys could see this on video. Uh, this is actually an Echo clone. It's the first Echo clone that, that I've played with at all. And it frustrated the hell out of me. I have 50 different bars here, and what it calls for is a... Uh, 0.325, which I don't run very much. I have some Husky 350s that ran that. But I have them in a couple different flavors of chain, too. And it wanted a 325.058. And somehow my brain, in looking for different bars, and I, I went through a bunch. I got, I got 3 8 low pro. I got 3 8 every type of chain you can imagine. 404 chain. I got... 32550, 325.058, like I thought this would take, and the bar wouldn't fit because it was the Husky, whatever that is, the D09 mount. Anyhow, I did a little uh, creative grinding on the bar, and I got a bar to fit, but it's really more bar than I want to put on there because I think they can, it's an 18 inch bar. And really, I'd like to run this with a 16. This comes with a beautiful little 16. Which brings me to my next point. Uh, some differences in these saws. Uh, granted, one's an Echo and one's a, a Husky 543 XP clone. This is the what the Echo CS420 something. Not overly familiar with Echo's line. Uh, it's a nice saw. They're both really light saws. I weighed them both. The Neotech is 3 cc's bigger and it's a quarter pound lighter than the Farmer Tech saw. What I do like about the Farmer Tech saw is pulling off the, the air filter covers on them. I really like this air filter quite a bit better. Um, at least I think I do. I haven't ran the saw yet to really know, but, and I'm hoping you guys can see this. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. It's got that uh, can kind of filter on it, which I do like. And I'll talk to you about this for a second. Whereas the uh, the Husky clone, here I'll just have to tighten that up. Our Husky clone here, I probably have my back to you guys like a goober, has one of these nylon mesh air filters that I don't love. But I, I get to thinking about it, you know, I don't love the filter, I don't think they do as good of a job, whatever. I was just working on a steel 036 with the metal air filter that looks just about like chicken wire. I mean, the cross hatching on the, the metal screen on that air filter, <laughs> they're not this big, but they're bigger than the screens to your house. It's one of those that I think we're supposed to be running cold weather, snowy conditions, not necessarily uh, dusty, dirty conditions. And that saw has been running, it's an old 036 with the metal tags. It's a red lever. I had done a video on it. 
And that has its whole life, summer, winter, fall, for the last 15 years. I'll say 15 years. It might be more, might be less. I'm guessing it's probably more. Ran with that filter, sucking in everything bigger than bigger than a pencil lead. So, for all those years. So, anyhow, I'm bitching about air filters when I see saws with crap air filters running forever. So, I don't love those. They're not horrible, and it's maybe it's just in my head that we all have our preferences on what we think is going to give better filtration. I imagine they both breathe pretty well, so for what it's worth. Uh, the other thing I'm going to tell you with these uh, Neotech clones, the packaging is the best packaging I have seen. That's a good thing. What I also like is they give you a full toolkit in a kind of a nice pouch to keep it in and i mean it comes with a piston stop it comes with ring compressors it comes with scrunches a nice nut driver that i did another quick video with the uh t27 like this with super nice plastic like a nice quality nut driver uh what else some piston stops. I mean, it came with a bunch of stuff. And the other thing these are coming with, and these are the best uh, tuning screwdrivers made. I don't care. I have beautiful Craftsman's. I have snap-ons. I have steels. I have every kind of tuning screwdriver known to man. And these Neotech ones are the best with the wings on them. Uh, I'll zoom in. And maybe you could see it. <clears throat> But you see how it has those wings on the side? I love these things. And this is an extra long one. Because some of the kits are coming with short ones, extra long ones. So I love these things. And the Neotech also comes with a nice little bar and chain. And I've had good durability out of the chain. So, I don't know. It, Neotech's putting together a hell of a nice kit for a fella. But again, I... Uh, I haven't jacked with it long enough to tell you guys this for a set in stone fact, but I really think the mod I'm going to show you guys later on another video might be what brings this saw up. And I haven't ran this saw, so I don't know how good or bad it is. I just like all the stuff Neotech's been putting in with it. Um, that's it. Let me, uh, I, I probably, this is probably redundant some of this but it's a nice little unit i'm trying my best here to show it to you guys really nice nice barn chain comes with it and to be honest with you this farmer tech is super nice too i don't like that recoil handle as much <clears throat> um super nice little saw well, we'll see when I run it. It'll be three cc's difference. I'm going to wind up overbarring this, so it's not going to be, even if I run them head to head, it's not going to be a fair test. But maybe before I mod this one, because this is a brand new saw, I was going to take it out and mod it right away. And maybe before I mod it, I'll run them both next to each other, but it's not going to be fair, because this one's going to be pulling an 18 inch bar and chain and this one has a little 16 inch bar and chain maybe we could see something maybe we can't i don't know what to expect maybe neither of them will start so anyhow guys i just wanted to put together a quick video showing you some of the the new stuff that i got um i'll go in deeper on them as i get to it this is just a little quick video to show you some of the things passing through here anyhow true grit scott bulletproof saws thanks for watching Stay safe.